but y'all gotta make y'all way back down because like yo man like it's time i'm about to go over here with carl in the studio in a minute because i gotta play him this the single I'm just going to start mixing this single with everybody like, yo, where's this music at? And I'm like, yo, shit about to be popping because I've been working on the album forever. And so I'm just ready to like release that. You know what I'm saying? So back to the love, light, and the peace and all that shit. That rose water so lit. And you know we doing better. That rose water. You know who. That, that rose water so Doing you know what. That rose water. You know what. Yeah. You feel me? About to so, get a few more stamps in the passport. I'm I'm really excited about that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'm 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 very secretive, by the way, guys. So you know the things that I do let y'all into, and I do like share with y'all. Just be very, 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 very What's pleased with that because let me be on a dolo. Like I just be minding my business solo, and sometimes I forget to go live. I forget to tell y'all like what's going on and share that shit. Like yo, like I do everything fun, everything cool, everything amazing. Everybody else do, but when you're in the moment, it's hard to pick up your phone when you zip it. It's hard to pick up the motherfucking phone when you're catching a big fish. So. Obviously, I gotta get my boy photo, my, my boy Gates back out here so he can start capturing all the reply shit that I'll be on. But every day there is an adventure. If it's not feeding the homeless or talking to a young woman with her baby that's, you know what I mean, like yo, homeless and she needs a little check, it's always something to do. It's always a reason to get back. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just, it's hard to capture those moments, y'all. So, but, but at the same time, I know those moments aren't going like. You know what I mean? Just not for not. So, you already know. Y'all already know. Well, I just wanted to say what's up. Like, I told y'all in the um, QT bathroom, like, yo, like, you know, rehearsal was lit. Next rehearsal tomorrow is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm really excited about sharing it with y'all. So, hey, yo, bro. As we proceed, yo. Hey, I'm a, um, to prepare I'm to give y'all what y'all need. Get you up in a minute, bro. I gotta go in here and relieve All myself right. at QT and then get on this highway. That damn TV and this damn QT. Got okay. me. Okay. Damn right. QT. You can get it moving. Black, this shit is so right. fire. I got you. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. This shit's right, so fire, Black. It's so fire. It's so fire. It's so fire. It's so real. It's so that thing. It's so love. It's so ill. It's so swag. It's so conversation. It's so journal. It's so black woman. It's so strong woman. It's so amazing. It's so that. Like, yo. It's crazy. Savannah, man. Like, it's that. As I take Savannah. Y'all want to see me one honest thing? Woo! And that girl right there. Just like that. Say hey, everybody. Be right back. Noah, you want something? <laughs> hey. Hmm? What you want? Tinkers. Hmm? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa, can't get out. whoa, whoa, whoa. Because then I won't be able to use the bathroom. Y'all, you know what, y'all? Let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> Right, I just want to ask y'all a question. No. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Y'all ready? How many people is ready for me to ask y'all a question? Okay, boom. Okay, so can y'all tell me why y'all fuck with loving hip hop so so hard? That's I just I want to read the comments. Why do y'all fuck with loving hip hop so hard? What about that show makes y'all fuck with it? I just want to know first. That's it. And then y'all tell me, and then I'm gonna tell y'all some shit too. But they'll tell me what y'all fuck with the show for. I just wanna know. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody saying why y'all fuck with that show. I don't. Laugh out loud. I am. Okay, so make sure y'all let me know. It's entertaining. Okay, hurry up. It's entertaining. Cause we was cause you was on it. <laughs> I like the fake drama. Okay, go ahead. That is all drama. Okay, real shit going on real life. Really? Okay. Drama. It just gives me a chance to see all oh, y'all sweet. Cause ain't nothing else on at eight. Y'all stupid. Humor. Cause you. I personally watch to see how everyone turns out. I stop watching when I stop seeing you. Oh, y'all sweet as shit. Look at how you handle your emotions. Right. Entertainment and drama. Cause y'all kept it real. Real. It's you. Okay, so lies but funny. Okay, so it's a good show. So, do y'all want me to tell y'all why I'm not on Love and Hip Hop? And if y'all want me to tell y'all, I'm just gonna wait for y'all to all because I know it's a little fucking delay. It's like a motherfucking three second delay or some shit like that. It's a lagging situation. Yeah, it gotta, it gotta be, it gotta be. It's a little, it's a little delay. This is really the 
y'all kept it real, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. People uh-huh. like to think, think, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So, check this out. All right, okay, so check this out. The thing about it is this, like, I like being a real motherfucker. Like, I like, I like hanging out with motherfuckers that are really real. That means it don't matter if we from the hills to the hood, like, real shit. Like, people that's going through real dramas. Like, I'm one of those friends, like, if you going through some shit, I'm going to help you through your shit. But I don't feel like everybody got to be in our motherfucking business about me helping you through your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of friend, like, I'm going to take it and I'm going to pray about it. Because, obviously, if you telling me about it, or God's telling me about it, or told me something about you, that means he must think I'm strong enough to handle the situation on a whole nother motherfucking level. That means it ain't everybody motherfucking business, right? That's one. Two, I believe that, you know what I'm saying, like, loving hip-hop for me, like, I'm a real hip-hop head, like, hip-hop to me was like, Tribe Called Quest, Biggie Small, Tupac, you know what I mean, Nas, Jay-Z, Mob Deep, you know what I'm saying, like, I could keep going, Foxy motherfucking Brown, Lil' Kim, you know what I'm saying, Lauryn Hill, the Fugees, I'm talking about, like, that was an ill shit, and shout out to the ill Nana, because after I had my baby, she hit me up, you know what I'm saying, I thought that was the illest shit, because she's always been one of my favorites, like, I was in the hospital bed blushing, because she hit me up, that shit was ill, and she's, like, one of my favorites, Missy Elliott, you know what I'm saying, we're not going to talk about the, the, the producers that I was in love with, like, the Timberlands, and the motherfucking Jay Dillers, Rodney. and the motherfucking... Yeah, Rodney Jerkins. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I could keep going for days. That's motherfucking hip hop to me. I'll be right back. You understand me? Like when I when I'm talking about like when when I talk about hip hop, I be on some hip hop shit. Be like, I'm straight hip hop. Everything I do. When I talk to my kids, I'm like, yo, son. Like, yo, sit down. Be like in my face. Yeah. Gummy bears. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is that. Like, yo, I'm not saying it ain't got nothing to do with up top, none of that. Like, yo, I'm talking about N.W.A., nigga. The game, nigga. Like, the game it was, like, one of the illest motherfucking hip-hop artists, nigga. So I'm talking about, like, hip-hop. Then we talk about love. Let me give y'all some softer shit. Like, I'm talking about that king-queen love. Like, I fuck with my niggas so hard. Y'all have no clue. I'm talking about when I was a little girl, all I thought about was, like, R. Kelly and motherfucking SWV and fucking the TLCs and the Aaron Halls and the motherfucking after the after sevens and the the motherfucking the list could go on for days. I wanted to be in love like with that silk shirt wearing early '90s swag shit. I was like, yo, like I my mom had me at 16. It was crazy. My mom had me at 16. My my dad was in the military. So, you know what I'm saying? When we left Philly, I was about three years old. So, you know what I'm saying? I had been all over the world. Germany, Alaska. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, everywhere you could think of, I had been. And then I was, like, watching my parents, like, you know what I'm saying? Grind from the bottom to the top. And it was like, yo, like, we started off with nothing. And then you would see, like, those early spring days when your dad done got up a little bit of rank and he got some extra money. He done went out and got him cold less alexis early 90s it's a spring day y'all got you a couple rottweilers in the back and shit because daddy done came up on some motherfucking money you got you some ill jays because daddy done came up on some money you got you that ill ass motherfucking playstation sega genesis nigga sonic the hedgehog was popping nigga like nintendo 64s yo you had your shit popping you know what i'm saying you seen that type of love that was fucking love for me so when loving hip-hop gave me the opportunity to be on the show i thought that i was gonna be able to show y'all what that is nigga like i rock with my nigga every motherfucking day yeah we done been through ill shit like early on in our relationship but it was crazy how i had to bring up old shit to try to compete with the bitches that was on the show at the at the moment like the shit the, i'm gonna tell y'all was crazy the shit that i was going through when i was going through it was cra- none of these bitches could ever touch what i was going through nigga like i was fighting in the street chasing niggas in my panties nigga like i was fucking showing up at bitches shit like yo nigga avant-garde nigga like what this is my nigga and no ain't nobody taking my shit from me like i was like that and i mean all his friends i don't give a fuck it was his brother or not nigga like i was like yo like for real let me tell y'all something like if you love your brother then you're not gonna have your brother out driving drunk in a motherfucking fifty thousand you know what i'm saying eighty thousand dollar fucking whip with no insurance and no L's, nigga. Like, that's my nigga. And I'm pregnant at the time. Young girl. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, 
doing real estate, you know what I'm saying, chasing my dream, my sister just died, it shit was crazy, nigga, and all I could think about was like, yo, like, what the fuck am I gonna do with a baby and a baby daddy, like, that wasn't my dream, nigga, like, so my goal was to, after I had my baby, make sure I got my deal, make sure I got popping, shit was popping, you know what I'm saying, and I was just like, yo, like, so I thought I was gonna be able to show y'all that story, I thought I was gonna be able to show y'all the niggas that rock with me, I thought I was gonna be able to show y'all, like, yo, yeah, I got all my motherfucking kids, and we do this shit together. I thought I was gonna be able to tell y'all the real shit, but no. They wanted my, my nigga to be like, you know what I'm saying, starting a beer company with some bitch from L.A. that he don't even fucking know, and so I'm supposed to be feeling like, oh, you cheating on that bitch? Like, seriously, motherfucker? Like, no, that's not how we rock. We done been through that. The nigga's here, son. Like, he ain't trying to go and fuck with no other bitches at the moment, and I'm really not trying to go fuck with no other off-brand niggas at the moment, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, we done fought all the way to get here, and like, can I? Can you have one representative, one, one representative for the bitches, the real bitches out there that's fighting for they niggas? No, no, that's not what they wanted. They wanted some other shit. They want my ass is fat for real. Like I got a real fat ass. Hold on, Poppy. Hold on, Poppy. Poppy, wave. Poppy, Daddy gonna get you some gummies. Okay. It's okay, Papa. I love you. All right. You my baby. I love you. I love you. So, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, for real, I'm just being honest with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be with all the shits, too. I could talk about all I sit back and watch y'all. I think sometimes less said is fucking best said. So everybody keep asking me, like, why you ain't on Love & Hip Hop? Because they not going to tell my Love & Hip Hop fucking story, B. They not. You know what I'm saying? Like, do y'all know what it feel like to be in the studio with fucking Buster Rhymes? Well, I do. Do y'all know what it feel like to be in the studio with Puff? I do. Do y'all know what it feel like motherfucking recording in the motherfucking studio where Biggie Smalls motherfucking recorded that and you trying to come up with thoughts that's just as good? I do. Like, yo, I'm talking about Spliff Star was this illest. Like, I'm at Puff fucking concert pregnant with Savannah and when they come to Atlanta and Spliff is telling me like, hey, you're the shit. And I'm looking like, this is my fucking life. I got Spliff Star telling me I'm the shit. I got Spliff Star telling me like, yo, you're amazing and you're great. But then I got Mona Scott and fucking Stephanie and all these other people basically like, yo, like, yeah, I like you, but bitch, you ain't getting no ratings. And it's like, yo, that time that Tammy ran up on me, I didn't have no motherfucking panties on and I I just had my fucking baby like who the fuck is gonna be fighting at 32 years old just giving fucking birth ain't got no fucking drawers on and then it's like they set you up all crazy like no i didn't have no fucking beef with motherfucking you know what i'm saying like miss deb like why would the fuck i have beef with miss deb like we wasn't even on the same motherfucking the, the left like i didn't even know miss deb nigga like and the shit that i was talking about in the fucking scene i was just telling miss deb i was like yo miss deb on every fucking thing i love i'm a real bitch and i really do this so these are the people that i'm working with this is the people that i'm doing business with can you get in contact with them for me and if you can let's go motherfucking rock these niggas head off because i ain't never been scared of work i got a studio in my house and this is how we could do it and that that made it like i was being disrespectful because i was serious about my shit like this is how i feed me my family that's how i've been feeding them so it's crazy like you know what i'm saying like yo and i sit back and watch all this shit i sit back and watch how y'all get on that motherfucker and people be talking about people's lives i get on to see how everybody's you know what I'm saying? Like, everything is about pussy 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 like yo man like yeah i got that too nigga but that's not what i'm selling like i'm ill with my pen i'm ill with my music i'm ill with who i am i'm good with that like i love the rain nigga i I like listening to Tribe Called Quest in the rain. Like, I like listening to Stevie Wonder in the rain. I like riding around with my nigga and just chilling and kicking it and laughing and kicking it. We good. Like, I'm trying to get to some silver lining shit. And it's like, yo, everything ought to be so super fucking pretentious. Like, I stopped hanging with my own motherfucking friends because it's like, yo, I got to feel like, damn, K, you know, you got to fucking pose a certain way. I'm not going to sit here and cry on this motherfucker right now, but I'm just saying, like, yo, yo, y'all got to... We gotta get back to the real shit, yo. Like, for real, yo. This shit is so crazy. Like, and I'm just like, yo, yes, yeah, entertaining, but why can't the other shit be entertaining? Y'all got moms and dads, too. Y'all got brothers and sisters that's graduating from college and trying to fucking make it. Y'all trying to make it. Everybody trying to fucking make it. And it's just like, yo, everybody got this motherfucking camera on and everybody motherfucking pointing fingers at everybody. And that shit ain't cool. Like, straight up. Then it's like, yo, then they try to make it seem like a bitch got postpartum. No, I didn't have fucking postpartum. I had to make up that fucking storyline for y'all. I love my kids. What I did was, I ain't want to look like no fucking crybaby on fucking camera because I'm like, yo, I want to beat these bitches the fuck up. And I want to be all.
all these niggas to fuck up because it's like, yo, everything is fake. You have a conversation with a motherfucker the night before, then you get on fucking camera and they fucking putting you out like, yo, y'all know how that shit feel? Like, you know what I'm saying? You be ready to beat somebody to fuck up, like straight up. Like, this shit is crazy. Crazy, y'all. All I wanna do is make fuck, all I'm doing is making music and loving my family. And I just don't think that, and I ain't crying no more, cause I ain't crying cause I'm weak. I'm crying because I'm so passionate about why we gotta be fucking strong as black people. Oh, Tinka, what do you want, Tinka? What do you want? What do you want? You know I'm breastfeeding her, y'all, so she wants titties. So I'm just talking, to, I'm talking to y'all about at the end of the fucking day, how we gotta be. So I am so thankful for God. Like, yo, my, my, struggle is somebody is, is is like my struggle is somebody's up like i get up every day and i'm allowed to think about what the fuck i want to do that's a fucking blessing it's people out here that's working at this qt i'm looking around i'm in the fucking car talking to y'all that's the fuck i'm doing that's crazy that is a blessing that's a fucking blessing i thank god for that I thank God for being so awesome to me and my family and being so awesome to, like, just, like, my obedience. Like, Lord, thank you for your favor. So when y'all ask me why I'm not on Love and Hip Hop, because that shit is not real for me. That ain't my shit at all, B. No. I need my own shit so I can have my own dope ass friends on that motherfucker so y'all can see some real cool motherfuckers like that. <laughs> some real motherfuckers like laughing and joking and shit like that. Y'all can really see how we really cook. Y'all can really see how we really make music. Y'all can really see how we kick it with all my kids. All of them. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, and I'm cool with the business. I'm cool with the industry. It ain't gotta be all super, you know what I'm saying? BS, BS, bubbly, bubbly. It ain't gotta be that, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is everything. Everything is what you make it. You know what I'm trying to say? So I just be like, yo, like, I ain't mean to preach to y'all like that all crazy or whatever, but I'm just being a real ass bitch and I'm gonna continue to be one till the day that I fucking die. I'm gonna be dirty money till the day the fuck that I die. I'm I'm gonna put this motherfucking music out and I'm gonna knock y'all motherfucking heads off with this real motherfucking true shit. Like, cause it's real. And that's where I'm at, yo. So I don't got no fear no more. Like, I don't feel crazy about nothing. Don't worry about me and her. I got her. Cause she eat every two seconds. That's what y'all don't gotta worry about. And that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, y'all be worrying about the wrong thing. Worry about what I'm telling y'all. She a baby. Yo. So that's what I'm saying. So anyway, like, yo, it's, it's, it's all good, yo. So I just wanted to give y'all that and just be like, yo, the album motherfucking coming out and it's amazing. I put all my heart and my soul into it and that's it. So I'ma holler at y'all. You know what I'm saying? When I stay on the streets, I drink this motherfucker.